yes, people, this is it. I'm um, once to welcome a uh, good night and uh, welcome to everybody. You know, as I told you last week, we was gonna have a guest tonight, and we want to welcome Crystal. But me and my man Adrian Green, we're proud to um start this new blog that we're here focusing on, and I won't keep it too long because you know what I mean. It, people feel I get a couple of requests. People saying, but like, oh well, it might not be as effective and stuff with like that. But it all depends on the mood of the videos. That's how we can flip it. You understand? But tonight we ain't really dealing with nothing that. I will consider that I go and get real harsh with, but as time go ahead, John knows what can happen, but I want to welcome Crystal and my man Adrian Green to the show. Hey, boy, you be ready, boy. You looking at things, yes. like things that can pepperish. Show number 1.1. 1. Yeah, they 1.1. 1. 1. Yeah. Like, if that we was in James Bond, we James Bond 001. 001. No, 1, 001. 001. Yeah, we be 001. Okay, well, I'm proud to have Crystal as one of my as our first guest. So if you don't know who Crystal is, Crystal, you came to fame when you drop a big bomb on social media with the Auditor General's report for 2015. So tell, first of all, tell the people out there what the Auditor General's report is, for anybody who ain't really know. Okay. The way that you will keep track of how the economy is performing is through a set of statements called financial statements. It's tell you what we got, what we ain't got, what we owe people, all the kind of things in there. And when you say we, you mean Barbados. Barbados. Right. Okay. So what we tax paying dollars is get spent on, who it is that we owe in Barbados, how much money people owe the government, everything in there. What the Auditor General does, if you, Bajan Fari, say that you got $500, mm -hmm. I can't just take your word that you got $500. You feel a little better if a professional come and tell me like a bank, right. come and bring a statement and say, yeah, he got $500 right. in truth. Right. So that's what the Auditor General is supposed to do. He's supposed to be that independent person who will come and tell you, you know what, what the government put in these financial statements, them correct. Right. Now, for the last however many years, yeah. the Auditor General was saying that these financial statements going real enough errors and not a little bit of errors, things that substantial, huge, and the need fixing. Okay. And for years in the financial industry where I sort of kind of got one little toe dipping. Right. Nobody, the, the only people that was listening is economists and accounts people, business people. But the rest of Barbados really wasn't paying that attention because I, I guess it Me for one, I didn't know. They don't, they don't know. Right. And who know don't care. Right. And who care can't understand because most people just kind of seem it's like over head, talking over your head. Yeah. So I just decided, you know what? Instead of waiting for somebody to come and explain this here in a way that the regular Bajan can understand, I can take a crack at it. Right. I did not expect that so many people would have responded because the fear is, again, you think that you may be explaining something in a down-to-earth way, but you ain't really getting through the people. It's true. So I was glad that people were able to see the report, understand what's going on, and finally start taking the interest because it impacts everybody. So in a down-to-earth way, the government has lost hundreds of millions of dollars foolishly. Yes, pretty much. And this is not something that just happened. No, but this is BLP, DLP, everybody, P time. It's across administrations, yeah. across parties. Yeah. So we're talking, looking at some of the numbers here. We're talking of one, one company that now gone through the edits owing $950,000. Another company owing $2 million. Another started company small. owing $5 I started, started small, small. Yeah. All right. $5 million, right up to $120 million and by one company. You say who? A hundred, one company. Who used bought hundred and twenty million dollars? He had a chairman budget and they want forty dollars and he was getting all real <laughs> Oh, you, nobody, anyone. You are, you are too small. There you go. You are too small. You are, you got to ask big. You got to go big. Oh, okay. I better can work on our next week. Yeah. So, my name might be in the auto general report for 2018, man. <laughs> Quite so, uh, so, how, how, how you just get to borrow one hundred twenty million dollars? What you gotta do? You gotta be bigger. You got first off. I bigger. You got me. got some reason why these people need to lend you this kind of money. And why they I need to lend me that kind of money? I don't want to speak out a term, but you don't lend out this kind of money mm -hmm. without an agreement, because the majority of these things that we here looking at, for sure, all the ones that come on in the auto general report that in DLP time, none of them may have an agreement. None of them. None. And when you said they had no the agreement, can, what do you mean? If they had one, they can't find it. They had a contract, they had a the, the paperwork. Nothing that nobody in the Auditor General office could find. 
So sure. it's like if if Farai lend me a hundred dollars and come back in a matter of months and say, Man, I want green, I want my money. Some of these things is outstanding for years. And I tell you, I can't remember lending you that. And that's the end of the day. we talking about? That's and how you can foresee to be able to give it back. So then you try to say basically they ain't got no way at these people. But seeing as soon as you could track this money and say mm-hmm. like, oh look, but this particular company owe money. You know, like Green Green's Porch Camp Green Adrian Green Porch Company owe uh, like we say fifty thousand dollars. But there's got they, you could track it, but mm-hmm. they ain't got nobody out there in the government that could go there and actually do the same job that you doing because you're doing it from a um, a, a point of view of just a concerned citizen. Yeah. You know what I mean? And looking out for other people yeah, that, that don't realize. Because like I tell you, when I first saw the video, when she started to call these numbers, I said, she serious? I, the first, I remember the comment, you remember the comment I made that you like, I was yeah. like, yo, what are you <laughs> saying? I get you out this year right now. I think you're going to jail. You know, you know, tell funny, everybody, like, I could not believe the numbers that she was calling that. Like, I was like, a, a lot of this money could be used to help Barbados out of the difficult yeah. economic stance that we in right now. But the, the issue seems to be dead, though, because the report gone. It was in the newspapers before mm. you before you yeah. brought it up on social media. I know the issue seems to be... You don't really hear anything about it no more. That's, this, is a dead, this is a dead issue now? The media has actually been putting more of these things in the open than I've seen before. I've seen, especially with the national housing, mm. I've been seeing a lot of things in Barbados today where they're commenting on the things that are reported in the honor jobs report, the fact that nobody is responding to it. And just as a point of clarification, because I know there's some people that say, man, these are small numbers. These only sound big to me because we ain't accustomed to this right. kind of I, I, I definitely ain't accustomed. Custom. I definitely ain't accustomed. But once you buy 50 grand, you beat me by right there. But what I need to point out, as long as it met the Auditor General report, mm. it's significant. These are professionals that sit down and calculate based on the financial statements what is considered significant. So the only gentleman is not just one person in. He's, a, he's the person that's in charge of that office. Is Lee okay. Trotman. Right, okay. He's the head man. Okay. He has staff. Uh, or staff. Yeah. So and they all can put all the information. Correct. And then he bring it up. So okay. as long as it in the Auditor General report, mm-hmm. it's significant. So let nobody tell you that these are just big numbers we ain't accustomed to. But you make a statement there on the video. You said that you, you can't. You don't know if you could do his job because you can't understand how it must feel. To because go through all these numbers and see all these problems. Some of these are on here for years. I know that nobody ain't going to take you on. They're, nobody don't take you on? I think Barbie has got ahead of Mafia. Mafia don't have a cap in the gap. So bet you a lot of people be paying money next day. Mm. Yeah. Mm. No one gets it. Yeah. You owe the Mafia mm. money. They're selling somebody. Listen, you know you owe the small shoes, belly some money. But you go up here. Oh, the small shoes. Oh, right. back, back, back in the cap. You know the next week that money coming in. Because at that, the, the amount of numbers, that, like, give me uh, just a run note. Like, All right. name five, give me five, the top five. In total, mm-hmm. if you just, and the auditor general report ain't just about who owe government money. Mm-hmm. It reports on every single thing, the financial statement. So who government owe money to? Yeah. The fact that a lot of the money that we think that government owe is actually probably a lot more mm-hmm. than you actually seeing in the financials. The projects that were going on. So you got that water authority project. Yeah. You supposed to got a bidding process. How much of these projects actually went out to bid? And then out to the ones that went out to bid, how much only had one person bidding? And in the whole of Barbados, I, I find it hard to believe that only one person bidding on all of these significant projects. So how much... Did, did, these people usually say that the only one person could come up. Like, oh, that's like selling. Oh, let me put it down to eBay. You got mm-hmm. one, and you sell it on eBay. Yeah. And so much uh, people on eBay. But only, only one, one body body bidding. Bidding. And they bidding. And you know what? Like, nobody ain't gonna go back and bid to sell. But we come and say they do it for a hundred million. And and they're bidding small, they didn't start. And they're bidding. They're 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 start they're start, the business was obviously gonna start bidding mm-hmm. small. Mm-hmm. You know, you gotta put like they got a cap on these things, or like the least amount you could bid, or they don't have anything like that. That is the problem. There's really no transparency to show me how this bidding process is even work. So out of the seven bids, the seven projects that government that the Auditor General report on last year, uh-huh. only they had two projects that ain't had a tendering at all. And the body bid, man. That the body just get it, and the other five, only one body bid. So, so it's it pretty much saying the same thing. So, but uh, all right. This is business as usual. From what you understand, this you we talking as though this is something shocking, but really and truly, this is business. this is norm. This, this is, is been normal. going on for for years. This is how things are done. Yeah. Right. Does anybody care? If bidders don't care, then 
the government will be able to continue to do as they like and private entities will continue to be able to do as they like. It ain't a one without the other. It's all three people that need to come into play. As long as Beijing's don't care, these private entities ain't going to do nothing because as far as they're concerned, people can still get Hilton and do whatever the God do. People can still play golf at Southern Golf. But Needham's need point is Hilton, right? Yeah. And they had it on. People can go and still play the lottery. $5 million dollar loan. Yeah. To yeah. do what? $5 million to do what? I don't know. Refurbished rooms? I'm not sure. In total, for the Auto de Jones report, all the total money that these people owe was $708 million. $708 million. $708 million. See, next time you hear somebody telling you about them need a tax, a sweet drink tax to raise five million dollars, and another way that they're gonna dig in your pocket. But the funny thing about not calling you, mm. the funny thing about the sweet drink tax, what that achieve? That's what we really want to know. You just raise the price of a drink by a quart. Yeah. That's a quarter for people that don't understand what no say. A <laughs> quart. You raise it by a quart. People still buying the same sweet drinks. Nobody even care that you raise. As a matter of fact, people buy it by the case now. Yeah. People like going by certain, like, you know, they go um, certain stores down here that go like, sell them by the bulk. People can buy them by the bulk and over oh, They cost more money in the store, so they can buy a bulk and keep home. So, you know, what, what was your achievement? Oh, yeah. How you wear a robbery? <laughs> but not about your way, you get robbed on your how you wear, but, you know, they hit your hand in your pocket. Nah, I don't, I don't, yeah, man. That, that kind of thing is all worth the down consumption of the sweet drink, no. man. A quart? Because bitch is like, sweet drinks too much. You. I meant for a quart. So the problem ain't really the politicians then. The problem is no. we. It is really or truly. It is we us. Because we ain't care. Right. And we as much as you might talk and some bitches will say and, and speak out, as you would have mentioned earlier, even before we start the video, your environment mm. might be active, might be talking, but it's not a reflection of what the Barbadian population feels or thinks. The Barbadian population may even feel as though, yeah, it's something important, but for somebody else to do something about. That is exactly what we need to be talking about. Bitches be like, yeah, let me get them here, let me march, let me make sure these people know what we're talking about. I get on there and my fool is saying, yeah, boy, you're going to be up people at 9 o'clock. Yeah, sure. two people come with it. Or you're going to be the start of time. There's a lot of fear, yeah. There's a lot of fear though, because that, that mm -hmm. same comment you said you made on her, um, on mm -hmm. her, on her yeah, Facebook about page, going to, yeah. about getting shoot or, or got, No, I said about the gun jail. It's about jail, to get you know? locked up because she you know revealed so much. There's a lot of fear out there. But, that's, but, but, that's real but you're that's the only me. person that, that made that comment. They had people private messaging me. You ain't frightened that somebody do you something, you know? You are a member of a, of a group. You have a group yes. going on. What's the name I of the started group? a group December 1st, Social Accountability and Education in Barbados. Yeah. And not just sharing the articles. What I try to do is to give my point of view on why this is important. Because a lot of times, the articles don't give all the information that you would need. Which articles are you talking about? Most of the time, it's something on Barbados Today, current issues. All right, news articles. News articles, and especially when it's something to do with the economy. Mm -hmm. A lot, if some of the information may be going over people's heads or they might not see why it's relevant. So I try to, and yeah. it's not just me. I, the group also consists of Jeremy Stephen, Dwayne Burke, and Colin Ford. Will you just say and something that, that really strike a chord in me though? David because Simpson. Sorry. Yes. <laughs> because a lot of what the economists say is go over my head. And yes. I'm sure. <laughs> there's no one thing, there's no one thing to start the back. I'm like, you know this, at this percentage and this point. I'm starting to get the terminology I'm that I don't say, understand. Yeah, one on one is two. And if you put one with long, say one, that's 11. Try to cut out all these numbers. But, and that's what a lot of people So it's hard to care if you don't understand what's going right. on. This it's is true. why trying to create a bridge because as far as I'm concerned, economists have not exactly come up with ways to actually effect change. And we need to make sure that the groups that can effect change, the cultural artists, the everybody else that's out there that probably got ideas that actually might make a difference, yeah. that they understand what the problem is first. Because you can't help fix something if you don't understand what it is. It's true. Because that's like me trying to fix a plug and an electrician, and I wonder why it gets shot. I mean, you right. turn off the power switch. But speaking on one of the members, I actually was speaking about you in the mm -hmm. shop where you were, mm -hmm. and... The same he calling on brass stocks. And it was like, yo, this you making a lot of sense. The man said, like, people just caught. But this is the thing that he actually showed me that day too. Because it's strange that some of you find yourself listening to people that are making sense. But then you also find yourself listening to people that make no sense. Some of the people that was calling, that was talking about all this, all this thing. And like, oh, yeah, but this and that. When he calling, he started to break it down. The man on the radio was like, okay, go right ahead. The, normally, the man on the... I can't remember who was the, um, who was the moderator that day, but he was like, man, you know, he's going to correct these people because they're talk, talking all the time. 
But when he did, um, Jeremy calling, it was a, it was a damn boy, one boy making a lot of sense. And then they announced the name. I was like, oh shoot, he was now talking about actually, you know what I mean, about Crystal, and then he pop up. So it was something that was bound to happen. But that's the thing about learning. You can't go straight to university and never went to primary school. And that's what a lot of people, you know what I mean? A lot of the things that's happened and you get to speak on, like the budget and all these things, it's go right over people's yeah. head. People only know me, there's the thing about beer agents. People know me saying cheap or when it's expensive. That's it. They don't know how it arrived there, but they just know, like, look, that's it. And that's what a lot of business go get rid of. That's why glad that Crystal started a group. And, like, for a, a man like me, even though, like, I comment on social issues, when I was living in the street, I was, a, I was in primary school. I didn't know, actually know start influence here in she class, but I started to understand it quick. So I was in class four. Mm-hmm. You understand? So she break it down such a way that it made it simple. I want people to really go and check out what she's be saying. Real talk. Mm-hmm.